It's been a very long time, I know, and I'm very sorry. It's been a really hard term. First year, in the UK anyway, for my course doesn't count, second year does. So I've been trying, trying to work harder this year. Has that happened? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Considering that I am in my last week of uni right now, my deadline is in three days, and I still haven't finished either of my units. I've been sick at least three times from the start of October until now and those sicknesses have lasted like at least two weeks. Maybe it's purely just because I've had Covid three times and now my immune system is shit. <laughs> Last week I'm pretty sure I had norovirus which is a vomiting and other <laughs> bug. I was throwing up all of Monday and into Tuesday and I couldn't eat anything because they would just come back up. That really set me back on my work. Also this time last year I had no friends <laughs> because obviously it was my first year, I didn't know anyone in Manchester so I had a lot more free time on my hands to actually do work whereas this year I've definitely been going out a lot more and <sighs> It's so difficult because I want to say yes to everything and I do regret it if I don't go out. But then I'm like, you know, my degree is obviously really important. It's just a constant balancing act. Um, <sighs> can you tell I'm exhausted? <laughs> so thank God I just got an email through from my tutor saying that he's given me until the 29th of December to finish everything. I've just been really missing videoing things. I mean, I told myself that I would vlog this whole term, which again, didn't happen. I want to be better at this. <laughs> I'm glad to be back and I hope that this is a really fun video. <laughs> right now. So for my experiment one we had to make a 24 page publication and the layout slash design of it had to be experimental but we were given some articles at the start of the term that we had to pick one of them and create a story from it and the one that I chose was about this man who he burnt down his house because he was trying to kill some weeds in his garden with a blowtorch and at the time Rishi Sunak was in the news for saying that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and that's just common sense. If you know me, I am queer, I'm part of the LGBTQ plus community and I have lots of non-binary friends, I have lots of trans friends and so that really fucking pissed me off really and so I wanted to kind of take that story and put it in this. The man who burns down his house I've made it so that that's Rishi Sunak and what he's burning down is the country and the weeds that he was trying to kill in his garden are trans non-binary people. I've made them flowers though and it kind of flips the pages like this. It like opens up, you open up to the middle and then like that and then you open it up to this massive page and that's 10 Downing Street and it says and whilst Rishi's house burnt to the ground plants lived happily ever after plants being the queer people I forgot to print some filler pages for this it's just gonna be like bushes with flowers on them so I'm gonna have to go back into uni 
I was there this morning printing off all of these because yesterday it took me nine hours nine fucking hours yesterday trying to figure out formatting and the printers and I literally only got this printed twice It's really late, that's why I'm actually speaking to the camera because there's not that many people around. Usually I wouldn't have this confidence. I need to get some food on the way in because um, I've got to eat at home. Unfortunately, I had to get a pret sandwich. I love them, but they're just so fucking expensive. And I've got this natural energy drink because I'm gonna need it. It's six o'clock and like I've still got quite a lot to do. because fucking double-sided printing. I just wasted six pounds, but it's fine. It's fine. I've also filmed everything to put in my slides, which is like the documentation of your process. So it's gonna take a while, but I'm glad that's the only thing. Before I go, I kind of thought it'd be really fun to do like a mini tour of my studio slash like the art building. I mean, I wasn't able to come to an open day, so it would have been nice to see the building before I came. I'm gonna show you around Benzi, but just like the areas that I'm in, cause I can't be bothered to show you the whole thing. Cause it's really fucking big. I'm on the second floor. Those are the doors that I usually come in, but here is like second years kind of area. And over there, is where first years usually go. I'll go and show you like their exhibited stuff in a second. Over that way is like, I think it's interior design and architecture all the way down there. And then right at the back is graphic design. Opposite are loads of classrooms, animation studios, and stop motion like camera studios. because I tend to spend all day working. I'm just exhausted at this time mentally. I'm going to read my book for a bit. Right now I'm reading 
really good actually by monica hazy this was like one of those books that i got in the supermarket for four pounds i think it's actually quite good it's funny it's very light and easy to read it reminds me a lot of dolly alderton's writing i've literally got about 20 pages left so i think i might finish it and this will be the first book that i finished in like two months maybe i am so far behind on my goodreads goal it's not gonna happen this year i'm not gonna read 52 books why am i even trying to reach a certain number i'm not sure because it's not a competition i should just be enjoying <laughs> reading so i'm just gonna read my book and then go to sleep and get ready to do this all over again tomorrow It's a real random hodgepodge of things because I don't have much food right now and I'm trying not to buy more food because I'm going home next week. Christmas! Like, I can't believe it's so soon. I had a countdown of like a month ago until my deadline and it's come so quickly. So right now I've literally got two eggs scrambled. I've put some oats with a spirulina powder that my mum bought me, two scoops of little protein powder, and then one scoop of collagen powder that my mum also bought me. She was trying to help me fix my eczema. It hasn't worked, but I still feel like the collagen has been really good for my skin. Maybe it's placebo, I'm not sure. This is really frothy today. I started a new book last night, because yes, I did finish really good actually it was good actually i wouldn't say it was really good actually <laughs> i gave it like a three and a half out of five it was definitely the type of book that i needed at the time when i was super stressed out and i just wanted something fun now i've started breasts and eggs by mariko kawakami I want to say so far i like the story and i like the themes that i'm seeing it's all to do with being a woman being a girl a mother a daughter i'm intrigued to see where it goes because i posted it on my instagram story and i had a few people reply being like oh my god i love this book anyways i'm gonna eat this and then get on with the rest of my day have scanned all of my sketchbook stuff that i need for my slides and i've also bound both of my publications in like this different layout let me show you i've just made an a5 version and i've just sewn it oh, it's so fucking fiddly to sew things and i did make a few mistake holes because i was trying to cut corners <laughs> because i was getting bored <laughs> overall it's fine i think it looks really like professional. I painted all of this by hand by the way and then I scanned it in 
and manipulated it on photoshop it took me a long fucking time i think i forgot to mention i did make the story kind of funny again with politics it can be really fucking boring sometimes and people don't like to listen to it because it's boring but if you make it fun and funny and colorful and silly people are more likely to pick it up and read it and um relate to it on the back i've just got my little trans flag flowers i am going to head to uni now to photograph these and video them and then i'm also going to do all of my slides i know that if i stay here i'm not going to focus as much it's also going to get dark soon and the lights are so bright at uni that they stop me from falling asleep some instant noodles that i just got from the corner shop i'm also watching claudia saluski again and this is like her vlogmas 2016 i actually got kicked out of uni around deadline season i thought they stayed open a bit longer i've also never seen anywhere what the opening times are no one's ever told us or anything but this security guard maybe came round and she walked by and was like, you haven't even started packing up. I was like, sorry, w what time do I have to be out? She was like, you're supposed to be out by nine and it's, it's 20 past nine. Okay, but like, how am I supposed to know if no one's ever told us? She was just so unnecessarily mean to us. So I got kicked out. I was gonna leave earlier and like get dinner and blah, 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 but I was on a roll with the slides. I did not finish. I can't believe I thought I was gonna finish all of this by like yesterday. But anyway, yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna eat my really not nutritious meal and go to sleep. on this side of my face hooray i also look really fucking tired even though i forgot to set an alarm so i woke up at quarter to nine rather than eight o'clock which is fine because i clearly needed that little bit extra sleep and today you know what i'm having a cozy day today i'm very excited i'm literally just doing my slides today and i've scanned everything in i've taken pictures of everything i've videoed everything so i can sit in bed yay i try not to work in my bed because i just i don't think that's healthy i think you should have like a separate working space i will probably try and go out for like a walk later just to get myself out and moving my initial deadline is tomorrow and i'm gonna try and get my experiment one slides everything uploaded today and then i can start focusing on the other one and i'm really not looking forward to that because i don't really know what i'm gonna do but i've been talking for way too long right now so let's do some montaging <laughs> look like a little rat i was feeling hungry and i bought this like 
Swiss roll cake. Yeah, I've just been nibbling on that. This is just what happens when I'm trying to get so much stuff done. I start to neglect things like eating and I just go for like the easiest, quickest thing to hand. And then I end up just, yeah getting sick it's going okay i'm like i want to say halfway through i feel like today is just gonna be really boring because i am literally just sat here with my ipad trying to make slides it's gonna get dark soon as well which is so annoying because my room's already like quite dark in winter <laughs> official deadline day i'm not gonna get <laughs> the second experiment done by today for sure so what i'm doing is going through the like mark scheme type thing and trying to set a list of things that i need to do still but i can't i can't remember what i've actually done because i haven't looked at this in like five weeks <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna sift through all of my sketchbook and random loose pieces of paper and go from there. Basically what my initial idea was, was to do, so like I'm filming things, but then I will take just screenshots of stills from that footage and use it to make like a stop motion animation. And then I'm also like drawing and cutting out stuff and sticking it on top of those and then scanning them back in sounds confusing because it kind of is i wanted to do a shoot with a couple friends like six weeks ago but none of us had the time i'm gonna try and go home on the 20th which is next wednesday i don't want to bring this unit home with me i want to be done even if it's not finished properly i'm just gonna submit it because it's only 15 credits I put a lot of effort into the other unit. So if I don't get that many marks on this, then like, it's fine. I was never going to anyway, because I can't do abstract and experimental things. I just, I struggle with it. But yeah, I just want my time at home to be used for the essay that I have to write, YouTube and being with my family. I don't want to have to think about this. I'm just gonna try and get as much done as I can. I also really need to wash my hair, but I also want to dye it. Maybe I'll dye it tonight. <laughs> I've got work tomorrow and Sunday, so I don't have much time to do this. Wee! trying to go back and do the workshops there are some marks for engagement with the course so if you don't do any of the workshops then you're not going to get those marks so i've made some more images and i'm gonna edit them on photoshop i don't like them the one that i'm doing is about visual metaphors and i find that quite difficult i just don't think i'm very imaginative and i like to see things that are like right in front of me and draw those all that matters is that i 
analyze them and say why I don't like it. And if I had more time, I'm sure I'd be able to come up with something that I actually liked. I feel like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs>